During his tour of the neighborhood, the president did talk to homeowners in those impacted areas. And we continue our team coverage right now, sending it to Brian Moss in Louisville. Brian heard from one man who had a chance to talk directly with the president. Jim, just to set the scene here in Louisville, just off to my right, several hundred people who have been in this area through the afternoon, hoping to get a glimpse of the president and the presidential motorcade. He came to this area, and right now, and for about the last hour, he's been right inside the Louisville Recreation Center, talking to families and those affected by the fire. The president and the first lady arrived in this area just before 3 o'clock this afternoon. Two aircraft flew over the burn area, presumably President Biden and Jill Biden on board. Uh, they were surveying the more than 1,000 homes lost to the Marshall Fire. Fire victims like Dave Reynolds, who lost his home to the flames, gathered at the rec center hoping to speak to the president. And I feel very terrible that there were over 990 structures, uh, you know, destroyed. And so one of the things that's going to be imperative is, you know, with the shortage of materials that is in the country right now, is are, is there going to be able to, uh, you know, be that. Uh, foundation of supply to be able to rebuild those amount of houses. And prior to arriving here to talk to families here at the Louisville Rec Center, the president toured the Harper Lake area of Louisville, looking at the damage there. And the president is due to leave Colorado at about 6:40 tonight, departing from DIA. Reporting live in Louisville, I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado first.